Who will you give an album of the year to in the year 2022? I really want to give album of the year to Kendrick, even though I haven't listened to his album, but I mm -hmm. love Kendrick Lamar. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to doubt his abilities mm -hmm. and the fact that he even dropped. Mm -hmm. First of all, it's been a minute. The fact that he even dropped makes yeah. it album of the year. Yeah. Period. <laughs> so That's no how other. I feel. Okay, so you know what? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna tag team this one because you didn't listen to it, but I did. I've listened to okay. that album. It is so the first time I even heard that, I was driving on my way from Charlotte to Maryland, and my brother's like, "Yo, you didn't." This is weeks after it dropped. Yeah. I'm just the type. I just wait for things to die down. I'm like, I'm away. He's like, Nah, listen to it now. Me too. I'm I'm the same way. Yeah. yeah. And I played it, and I was like, This is fucking amazing. Okay. Prior to Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, and probably still is my favorite Kendrick album is Damn. But Mr. Morale, I love Damn. Mm -hmm. oh, but Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers has a completely different approach from Damn. Yeah. Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers is very vital to everyone, but more specifically, Black people and the mindset mm -hmm. that we have now. Because is is he emphasizes, you know, therapy. He emphasizes, you know, okay. accountability, uh, parent issues, whether it's daddy issues, mommy issues, whatever. It's just okay. a lot of that going on in that. It's not damn where it's just great songs or shit that's yes. like, oh, this is my shit. No. It's some shit that will actually make you tear up. Wow. It can really hit that I gotta deep. listen. You know what? Before the year ends, I'm going to listen to it. Please do. I mean, it's Before a, the year it's ends. A, I've heard like three songs. I heard that Toxic song. Yeah. With him and the girl. Yeah, and that's cool. It's yeah. a great beat. It's a good storyline to it, but that's still it's not the- It's just a storyline, yeah, right. That's not um, the epitome of that And album. I know that, and, yeah. I, and that's what I know. And I also, the reason why I do kind of like that, I didn't like the song per mm -hmm. se because it was a, it was a lot. Mm -hmm. But I get what he was doing with yeah. that. Yeah. So you know you know so one of my favorite songs on Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers is, is is called uh damn um Rich Interlude. Okay. Which is Kodak reciting a poem. Okay. And that shit is fucking great. I need to hear it. Like Kodak narrated that album. Um Okay. But he it's the Rich Interlude where he recited a poem and that shit it's, it's basically like, you know, speaking of uh, a young black kid growing up in the streets in America. Okay. Now, I'm not a street nigga, but I definitely felt that poem whole, wholeheartedly. I feel like 